this seminar, we'd like to invite Mr. Satoshi Yamakawa and Mr. Atsushi Tsuji NAC to talk about converged system solution based on OpenStack and SAF. Mr. Yamakawa, Mr. Tsuji, please. Thank you for attending this session. Today, I'd like to talk about our cloud platform product are using OpenStack and SAFE. Before starting the presentation, I'd like to introduce today's speaker. Uh, my name is Atsushi Tsuji. I'm development leader of this product. And uh, he is Satoshi Yamakawa, uh, product architect and director of this product. Today, we would like to talk about three things. Firstly, I will talk about introduction of our product, cloud platform for years. Then, I will explain uh, introduction of our R&D activities on SAFE. Finally, I will explain future enhancement of this project. So I'd like to start introduction of my product. Today, IT system is required to reduce many things, uh, design and deployment time, risk, management, complexity, and so on. To achieve the, these requirements, we have developed private cloud solution, cloud platform for yes. We call CPI as a ab abbreviation. Next, I will explain overview of CPI. CPI contains three components, web UI, software-defined infrastructure, and hardware. Web UI is called as uh, dashboard. It is integrated operational web interface. As middle of this stack, we use OpenStack and Ceph in order to manage our hardware nodes. As a hardware of this product, we use general IA server and thank you, Ethernet switches. And we also integrated uh, monitoring components for the status of hardware and safe to on the dashboard. We have three base concepts for CPI. Integrated platform, uh, business interface, and software-defined infrastructure. So we realize the EAS platform with dynamic adaptability to customers' voice. Then I will talk about these three concepts of CPI. First is integrated platform. We have developed and optimized both hardware and software and integrated them as one vertical stack. Second is business interface. We have developed own web interface for integrated operation called as dashboard. And we are improving it based on the real customer's requirement. Third is software-defined infrastructure. We use OpenStack and Ceph for the management of hardware. So we use hardware resource as a software defined infrastructure. We will focus SIF as a software defined storage using with OpenStack on this presentation. Uh, firstly, I will talk about integrated platform. 
This is a basic hardware architecture. We define seven nodes as the minimum model, considering the balance of availability, performance, and hardware cost. Seven nodes contain two master nodes, two computer nodes, and three storage nodes. Each server is connected by 10 giga Ethernet cable. Uh, MC is used for management of this platform. It includes OpenStack components and other monitoring components. CN is used for hypervisor of VMs. It includes KVM. SN is used for storage. It includes a safe storage. And CPI has dynamic scalability. If we need more computing power, we can add more compute node without stopping VMs. If we need more storage size or I.O. performance, we can add more storage nodes without any storage redundancy configuration and resource rebalancing. We deliver one vertical stack for optimized presentation uh, platform. Our product includes OpenStack, uh, Ceph, uh, Linux OS, and CPI, and other software and hardware components. Each component has own release cycle and life cycle. So we have validated and integrated these components as one vertical stack by single development team in NEC. So we keep stability and performance of our product. Uh, next, I will talk about dashboard. We have developed own web interface optimized for roles of user in private cloud. Considering general development and operation cycle, of any IT service on the private cloud. Users are classified as a system administrator and IT service developer and operator and IT service user. So users of dashboard are system administrator and IT service developer and operator. We define three roles as a role of user of dashboard. Uh, we call three roles as SA, PA, and PM. SA perform project management, system configuration, and system resource monitoring. PA performs instance and user management inside the project. PM perform instance operation on each project. This is a screenshot of dashboard of SA role. The operation menu is placed to the left side, and organized information is right side. All the operation control is organized into one screen. And this is a dialogue of launching the instance. Cloud user immediately create an instance by easy five steps. And furthermore, uh, we are improving dashboard and other components by customer's requirement. This is a development cycle of our continuous improving. We have developed CPI and released it. Then we have received customers' feedback and reflect them to next development. 
So next, I will talk about、uh, Ceph storage. As you know, Ceph is a software defined storage platform. It is distributed storage cluster without a single point of failure and self healing, self managing storage solution. Cloud users can easily manage their storage as a software defined storage using Ceph. Ceph is one of the best storage backend for OpenStack because、uh, Ceph has these functionalities. One is flexible scalability.、Uh, Ceph can dynamically define differences of capacity, performance, and redundancy. Next feature is high availability. The data of Ceph is replicated on three different physical disks by default and automatically rebalancing the placement after changing、uh, physical devices by disk failure or replacement. Next feature is multiple storage interface. Ceph has both object storage and block storage interface. Both interfaces are used by OpenStack. Finally, we will talk about the advantage of NEC. We have customer centric technical support of OSS because we are participating in many OSS committees and have global partnership with OSS distributors. Furthermore, we have the strengths of integration of hardware and software. Our hardware RD team closely tagged with software development team. So, we will introduce our RD activities on the next section. So, please change. Yeah, I'm Satoshi Yamakawa, product architect of、uh, CPI. So, next part is the、uh, introduction of our, our RD activities.、Uh, we are trying、uh, many RD activities、uh, for certain new functions of our future products.、Uh, today, I will introduce one of our, our RD activities on the self storage system. Uh, Ceph storage system is、uh, used for block storage,、uh, block storage system in cloud platform use.、Uh, in our product,、uh, Ceph storage stores data of VM instance deployed by OpenStack and、uh, system management data,、uh, grants image data, and、uh, system logs, and so on.、Uh, one of our r d activities on Ceph storage is Performance tuning for the various cases of Ceph operations,、uh, improving、uh, IO performance in the various use cases of accessing by various clients,、uh, improving the balances of IO processing resources in the case of cluster status changing.、Uh, for example,、uh, server is down and h d device is down, and so on. Uh, another one of our RD activities on self storage is to select new hardware.、Uh, we decide how the specification、uh, of new version, a new version product by many trials in RD activities.、Uh, I will talk about our trials of all flash self storage in this session. Um, These figures uh, show uh, architecture of self storage system in block storage, dev,、uh, block storage use case.、Uh, Ceph is a scaling out storage system, so, the system can be explain,、uh, expanding by adding extra storage nodes. Uh, uh, 
uh, OSD uh, is, mm, uh, in a storage server is object storage daemon. Uh, OSD manages uh, one storage device in, in the storage server. So if one storage server has uh, 10, HDD, 10 HDDs, uh, 10 OSDs run in the server. Uh, if one storage device were broken, uh, OSD would shut down by itself. And then other, OSD, uh, other OSDs automatically would, would recover data from mirror data they own. Uh, OSD as are managed and uh, controlled by MON, Monitor Daemon. Uh, this is the left side part. Um, a self client gets data, data placement uh, uh, in OSDs uh, from MON and directly access to OSDs for uh, reading uh, or writing data. This, uh, this path is separated. This is control pass and the data pass. Uh, uh, is scale out type storage system. Uh, scale out type storage system is typically uh, good at processing uh, simultaneous I/O requests from multiple clients. The uh, th this, uh, this character is uh, suited for ERS use case. Uh, but scale out type storage system is not good at uh, processing higher IOPS uh, workload from single client uh, in the system configured by large number of storage, storage servers. Uh, because uh, self client uh, has to uh, connect to large number of storage server, uh, that connections and data packet handling costs are large overhead for achieving higher IOPS. Uh, simple solution for boosting IOPS uh, is using flash device uh, instead of a hard disk drive. Uh, safe storage system uh, is typically configured by using hard disk drive and boost IOPS in uh, some IO pattern by using uh, flash device for data journaling and uh, data caching. Uh, safe storage system of, of cloud, cloud platform, yes, uh, um, self storage system of CPI boosts IO performance by this uh, approach. Uh, this approach uh, using uh, SSD for data generating and uh, data caching. But uh, all flash system raise the level of IO performance in the various IO pattern. So we try to evaluate all flash system uh, on, uh, as our unknown activities. Uh, at first trial, uh, we evaluated uh, all fresh storage system by exchanging HDD of our CPI uh, into SSD. Uh, and we compared IO performance of two systems. Um, this figure shows the uh, architecture of uh, evaluation system. Uh, evaluation system uh, had uh, 10 data disk drive per one server, and the uh, self storage system is uh, uh, configured by three storage servers. Uh, and data is triple mirrored in the self storage system. Uh, self version was self Firefly. Uh, we use FIO as a IO, bench, uh, IO performance benchmarking tool uh, and run the FIO on single self client. Um, these are results of FIO in 4 kilobyte random read and write access. Uh, in, the ever, in the evaluation of random read case, uh, we forcibly dropped FIO's work, work data cache in the DRAM of a storage server and uh, run FIO. So the case is the worst case in the read access. Uh, the the performance bottleneck of HDD, HDD system is HDD, HDD, due to the no data boosted by caching mechanism. Uh, in the case of data cached in DRAM of storage server, uh, IO performance of HDD system is closely the same to all flash system. In the random write case, 
the difference of I/O performance between HD system and the uh, all flash system is uh, uh, small, and because the uh, HD system stores the journal uh, journal data on SSD in the processing the writing data. Uh, data generating on SSD boosts the uh, write performance as a write cache. Uh, at second trial, uh, we have evaluated the uh, effectiveness of increase of SSDs in each server. Uh, at first trial, so the server has 10 drives. Uh, we added 24 SSDs as a maximum uh, at the second trial. Uh, these are FIO results of a second trial. Uh, in the case of read access, uh, IO, uh, the I.O. performance was slightly degraded uh, by adding SSDs to Swiss server. Uh, Swiss server afforded enough to process more I.O. requests, so total I.O.s would grow, grow up in the workload by multiple client access. And the peak of I.O. performance is limited by client issue on the handling connection or, uh, to OSDs. Uh, it could be improved or rated by tuning network socket configuration of clients. Uh, in the case of right access, it's a right side, uh, the I.O. performance was dropped down by increasing of SSDs. Dropping down, dropping down, um, uh, uh, because uh, CPU ut utilization of the server was closely 100 percent, and uh, the system bottleneck bottleneck was uh, CPU of the server. At the third trial, uh, we exchanged the uh, CPU of evaluation system into new other CPU, uh, which has. Uh, 1.5 times CPU cores. Uh, the peak of I/O performance was improved by new CPU, uh, but the trend of performance degradation didn't change by increasing increase of SSD. Uh, this graph shows the uh, CPU util utilization of OSD demons. In the case of 14 SSDs per server and 24 SSDs per server. Uh, in the case of uh, 14 SSDs per server, uh, CPU utilization were balanced each other. Uh, but in the, in the case of 24 SSDs, uh, they were unbalanced. Uh, these are CPU utilization of a process, a process event in storage server. Uh, in the 24 SSD case, CPU utilization of TC malloc were up. In the 14 SSD server, is uh, TC malloc TCPU utilization uh, 3.7, 3.2, is very low utilization, a very low CPU workload. CPU uh, uh, load, CPU load, but uh, in the 24 SSD server, uh, this mark uh, uti CPU utilization is very uh, higher, many, much higher. So uh, uh, this mark, uh, this, uh, this mark is a memory allocation library uh, and the collision of fetch memory. Uh, fetch memory and uh, release memory. And, that, and that's collision of fetch memory and uh, release memory uh, by TC malloc happened in this case. And this, this chart shows uh, flows of memory allocations by uh, TC malloc. Uh, in the case of increase of SSDs, uh, garbage collection by TC malloc worked in inefficient flow. Normal processing flow is the uh, right side, but uh, in the case of uh, 24 SSD per server, uh, uh, TC Mark worked, uh, worked uh, in uh, efficient uh, flow. Uh, 
Tishi Mark is, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the origin of uh, this, uh, this ambulance issues were memory allocation rivalry by uh, using by Seth, this Mark. And when we found the origin of this issue, uh, the issue, uh, Seth Developers Committee found the same issue and uh, uh, had a plan to try other memory allocation rivalry, J. Mar J J. Maroc. Uh, J. Maroc has uh, already supported in the whitest save uh, version, save hammer. And the uh, fourth trial, as the fourth trial, we averted the safe hammer uh, using J. Maroc. Um, this graph shows the uh, comparison of each safe versions. I hope performance of Safe Hammer is dramatically uh, improved. Uh, it's pretty good. And the uh, performance stability is uh, very good by using J. Maroc. In the case of uh, 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 Hammer, uh, using uh, TC Maroc, is uh, the trend of uh, uh, our performance is uh, uh, dropped down. And, um, it, it is the same situation, and, uh, uh, and it, this is uh, happened in the using of uh, Safe Firefly. Uh, it's very good uh, performance. So thanks for Safe Developers Committee. Uh, Safe Developers Committee, <laughs> if, if they're this cold, if, if they're they are not this cold, uh, we can. Achieve, uh, we cannot achieve the, this performance. Thank you. Sorry. And uh, this part uh, conclusions. And we need more CPU powers uh, for improving random write performance. Uh, these trials are part of our R and D activities, uh, so. We are trying to evaluate uh, as a SSD, uh, sorry, as a OSSS, OSS, OSS, and a combination of OSS for achieving better products. Uh, in the final part of today's session, uh, I will introduce future enhancement cloud platform years. Uh, we have planned uh, to two big functional <laughs> enhancement in the future version of Cloud Platform EOS. Uh, one function is bare metal deployment by Ironic, and the other function is big data analytics platform deployment on bare metal server deploy deployed by Ironic. Uh, these stack of functions are based on characteristic key device, micromodule server, DX1000. Uh, Micromodule Server DX1000 is high density and energy efficiency hardware, including 46 module server in two, two use chassis space. Uh, one module server is palm size server. This is image of module server. Uh, and that specification is suited for uh, working lightweight applications. Uh, one module server has uh, one socket, eight core processors, and uh, 32 gigabytes memory. So 5,600 uh, 5, uh, processor cores and 22 terabytes memory as a computing resources can be installed in 40 workspace. The high dense architecture of micromodule server achieves saving working space dramatically. In the comparison uh, between micromodule server, is the right, uh, left side, and the uh, uh, normal work server is the uh, right side. This is image. Uh, micromodule server has large memory bandwidth. Uh, aggregate memory bandwidth is over 1,000 gigabytes per sec, uh, per sec in one churches. Uh, in the case of using micromodule server as a single system, 
uh, it is most efficient to use large memory bandwidth. Uh, we think the target application of uh, micro-module server are scaled out application platform. For example, in-memory distributed data processing, and distributed cache server, and uh, web server, and so on. The CPU of Micromodule Server DX1000 is Intel Atom processor based on Intel Atom processor. So uh, DX1000 uh, covers only a part of our target application area. But the uh, next generation Micromodule Server supports Intel Xeon Z processors. So it could, be, uh, it could be cover all of our target area and uh, empower user application environment in the various use cases. The next generation micro server is coming in the near future. We are trying to evaluate uh, about Spark as one of the applications suited for micro module server for our first target application platform now. Apache Spark is uh, in memory distributed processing platform and involved in Apache Hadoop as one of the processing models. And Apache Spark uh, solves the problems of performance degradation of iterative processing by Apache Hadoop. And uh, it, it is suited for semi real time processing and uh, machine learning. Uh, machine learning. So, we can show the demonstration of Apache Spark on Micromodule Server uh, in NEC Expo booth. Uh, please see and touch our Micromodule Server and uh, Spark solutions. <coughs> uh, this is final slide. Uh, this figure shows our next goal, our platform. Our product is only a solution now. But we are going to upgrade our product to pass solutions for big data analytics by OpenStack Ionic, Apache Hadoop, and Spark at the next step. Please look forward to our future product and solutions. Thank you very much uh, for listening to our session. Thank you. Thank you very much for the session.